In my mind, I'm thinking I'm for the interview. No, you smart. House phone, all yeah. that. But it wasn't no pro- I didn't know nothing about the You beef. know what was going on. I, mm-hmm. I'm just trying to interview some niggas. I'm like, I'm going out here, yeah. I'm going to interview these niggas, and then we're going to figure out, you know, didn't happen. But if I was to interview Adam now, would, would AD still be cool with, with Boss Talk 101? 100%. Yeah. yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. see a lot of niggas coming home from prison. You see a lot of niggas doing interviews now. People feel like the internet is for the streets. You see what's going on at No Jumper. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They got Adam 22, got all the gang bangers around, the, the, the what's his name, the Brick Babies. Well, uh, you know, he niggas. started that though. He was one of the first <laughs> niggas. No, we gotta blame this nigga for it. Yeah, he was yeah, one okay, of the first. Nigga for it. And he okay. didn't want to take that. I told that nigga to take that down in Houston. I said, look, I said, you don't think that you being over there was a sense of security? You was you was really feeding the monster. Yeah. Let's be honest. So like, you, you got black AD for yeah, niggas, AD but niggas on the fuck with no jumper. Swinging and banging with niggas, fighting. <laughs> He's popping off. I said, "This is an interesting so, but no, show." But, but, but oh. that's just that was me just being authentic. It wasn't for no views. It wasn't. Yeah, I know it. You but, you, me? but now it could turn to something else. It can. It but, but I'm a I'm a real like politician. Everybody yeah. know that about me. So. I can do certain things and I can keep certain shit cool because yeah. a lot of motherfuckers know me and respect me all across the board. So it's a difference when you a nigga who don't know everybody. If you don't got respect like that, yeah, you're going to offend some people too. And in, 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 in LA, bro, like, bro, everybody know where everybody stay at. Everybody knows somebody that knows somebody. Like, you're not going to be able to run. You're not going to be able to hide. You feel me? If you want to go outside, you want to be comfortable and shit like that, like, this shit ain't worth it, bro. It really Let me ain't. ask you, did, did okay with the whole schism? I know with with you and no jumper, y'all not y'all not rocking no more. Ain't gonna be no reunion or none of that stuff. I don't think you <laughs> niggas ain't gonna do no reunion. Yeah, all that reunion talk is not happening on either side. But um, just the fact of the guys who work over there now, like. Does that put a wedge between you and those guys? There's no. some guys, Brick Baby, uh, Wag 100, yeah. Crip Mac. Crip who Mac. Else? Well, you got to look. Else? It's uh, a bunch else of over there. Uh, Sharp. Sharp. You yeah, got yeah, to look yeah. like, is, it, is there a wedge there, or do you nah, guys, no. y'all see each other and it's cool? Or you see, you see what Wag just did? Yeah, Wack. your shirt on. He, he, nephew, put, give me a t-shirt with your face on. I'm yeah. wearing it on there. Yeah. I'm going to show you love and stuff like that. I knew Brick Baby. 10 years before all of this shit yeah. too so okay that's a real nigga like I'm, we we don't we it's separate yeah. we separate okay. all of that cuz at the end of the day he out getting his money he's doing his thing how he got to provide for his family i can't hate on that yeah. so no matter what the fuck is going on like i don't look at anybody that's over there like oh yeah y'all the enemy or anything like that i don't even look at the nigga like he the enemy either i don't care well you okay so yeah. so that bring up another point i mm-hmm. i come to la often i yep. frequent i i last time i was there i reached out to you i reached mm-hmm. out nobody answered it was a long while back. Yeah, okay. I reached out to you. I reached out to No Jumper, Adam 22. This is when y'all were breaking up, too. Yeah. I didn't realize that. It was in the mix. Of it was in the mix. Yeah. I didn't know, though. I'm just reaching out to all y'all because I'm going to interview every damn one of you. Yeah. That's what in my mind. I'm thinking I'm for the interview. No, you smart. House phone, all yeah. that. But it wasn't no pro- I didn't know nothing about the You beat. know what was going on. I, mm-hmm. I was just trying to interview some niggas. I'm like, I'm going out here. Yeah. I'm going to interview these niggas, and then we're going to figure out, you know, didn't happen, but if I was to interview Adam now, would would AD still be cool with with Boss Talk One Hundred One Hundred Percent? You see, yeah. listen, see, and that's, you see what I'm saying. And see, look, that's yeah. the thing. That's what the maturity and the growth is as a person, bro. You a content creator. I'm a content creator, bro. We gotta do what we gotta do. And if yeah. I looked at you like that, I'm a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, straight Real up. Shit. I agree, yeah. bro. I agree. Yeah. You Why would I, mean? I hate on something that's gonna better you and better your platform? Yeah. If it's a good opportunity for you, do that shit. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm that's, not saying I'm kidding. No, 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 no. That's what he's saying, but bro. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's saying, bro. He got the way he's on the phone with the white boy. That's why I told him. I don't be honest with you. I don't think I've ever interviewed him. That's why I told you. That's why I told him. I have no relationship with him. I don't believe this nigga. That's why I told my uncle Jesus how to stay over there. Yeah. I said it's a good opportunity for you. Stay over there. Do what you got to do. I'm not tripping on that shit. He's still over there. No, I don't know. He left. Yeah, he had the little. He couldn't deal with it. He couldn't deal with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, he didn't like the back and forth that we was doing, so he was like, "He can't. He can't. He can't stay there, man." It's it's quickly, you know. uh, It's quickly becoming a thing where the community community is their own separate entity doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. Um, Did you? When you was questioned, when you seen the question about getting a million views, how did that make you feel? Just want to work harder. Make you hard. It motivates you. Yeah, it motivates you. Because you got to think about it, bro. It's only been six months since we started our new channel. Yeah. Man. You know what I mean? It's growing so, like crazy. Yeah, working yeah, over there, so, my nigga. Yeah, working. bro. So it's like, 
Yeah, give us a year, give us two years to really make this shit shake and see what we can do, bro, because you got to think about it. We starting from ground one. Yeah. yeah. At one show, and we don't want to just just throw a gang of shows in the mix and just do certain shit. Like, if we can have five, six, seven, eight effective shows that's just doing what the fuck they're doing, of course the motherfuckers are going to come in. The M's is going to come in. Like, I ain't never look at that shit like, oh, you can't get it, or, yeah. like, it's not going to come. It's going to come, like. Nigga did that shit with music. Nigga did that shit with our own channels. Nigga's gonna do that shit again, bro. That's what it is. Nah, I believe Can't in this nigga. God, I'm, gonna say, you, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say about this nigga. Look, this nigga finna take over. You know what the fuck going on here? <laughs> now, I can read through this nigga, fam. I see what the fuck is going on. It is. He was over there. You know, he peep what was going on and shit like that. The nigga you know, went off on his own and then it's like, nigga, stop right. I'm finna run this shit up. And, and I'd rather, I'm be honest with you, man. I'm not knocking. I'm not a racist. You did? I'm not. That's why I didn't want to really. I, I'm not a racist. I was gonna bring my, I was gonna I was gonna bring my wife over on there tonight because I was like, I'm not gonna deal with this because it's gonna look like three niggas talking about. Nah, you racist, my nigga. No. Yeah, 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 you're racist. You racist. I was gonna bring my white old boy. You, you know I'm older, so yeah. I, it, it cut different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you from the south too? Yeah, yeah. And it's I'm really more, from you know the mean? south. Yeah, but yeah. I, I'm gonna say it like this, man. I got a lot of white homeboys. I, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I got. Yeah, but at the end of the day, but I do know that there are boundaries that you can't cross when it comes to our people, man. Most definitely, I can't, and I can't disrespect. But we, we've come a long ways, bro. But we still got a long way to go. Long way to go. You know what I'm saying? So I can't really play with that. And you can ask your daddy about it. You can ask your cousins about it. Yeah. Your old uncles about it. They're going to tell you, man. And that's why it's important for us to work on ourselves every day. Yeah. yeah. And don't don't let the stereotype of, of who they think we are fuck up what we got going Most on. definitely. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Would you, would, I mean, are there people, who would you like to interview? Like, who would you like to bring on the show? Cause I, I, you know, people pulling up. I'm gonna sit in that back room. It's a lot of blue in there. I'm gonna be sitting in the back. Me no, you scope. coming? Me yeah. and just say no. You scope. coming? You coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In L. A. Yeah, 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 you gonna buy it? We definitely, we definitely gonna get you some big shit. I'm gonna be back to big smoke. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Just say no to scope. I'm about to blow it. Honestly, bro, it's just a lot of dope. Like, it's not really artists. You know what I mean? Like a lot of comedians and shit like that. Like just to sit down with Joe Budden, just to sit down with academics. Yeah. The people are in the field that I'm in, that was dope. And you know, Gilly, that's my guy. I was on tour with Gilly before. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I want to sit down with Gilly and Wallow for sure, for sure. I know that's going to happen. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, eventually. Uh, my guy, DC Young Fly, that's my guy right Wait, there. Wait, academics have been yeah. over there? To where? To, he ain't been over there to Not Yonfly. yet, but he coming though. He is? I'm going to New York next week to pop up on him too again. Okay, yeah. yeah that's he going to be live. He's starting, he starting his. Uh, team right now. He got some shit called Academy coming out. Really? So they launching the next week I'm going out there. He having a live show too. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, hard, bro. Yeah. He, got, he got that. You got to go to New York and, and, and fuck with everybody out there, bro. Yeah, the I podcast ain't. shit out there is Well, is you know different. I interviewed I interviewed Ice-T at his house out there. That's fine. But, but so I we going to New York or what, nigga? What we yeah, doing? Yeah, we going to New York, man. I love New York, to be honest. I just yeah. come back from Rhode Island yesterday, right, nigga. You just yeah. never, I'm tripping. I'll be out there, nigga. I'll be out there. You know my ass in New York, nigga. You been in New York, nigga. You been to New York before? Yeah, no. I've never even been out to New York besides one time back in the day on some music Type shit, and we went there, did a venue. You know, you know how that rap shit go. Yeah, you go yeah, out there, yeah. you got a hotel, do the hotel yeah, venue. You ain't really seen what's going see on. Shit, yeah, got the fuck up out of there. So yeah, I most definitely want to go on just some post up chill shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, real yeah. time. I've never been out there just to run around New so, York. I need to. Because when you when you think about it, man, like like there's these these the third coast, of course, the south, uh, east and west coast. You really got to make your rounds, bro. Yeah. So so yeah, cause Carlos Miller and them be on here. Y'all mentioned them a while ago. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with, they show does great, man. Oh, like oh. them bo them boys. When I seen them get the Netflix special, man, I was oh, they super proud. That too. Man. Chico just left here. Yeah, I yeah, love it, bro. Like, see, I like seeing shit like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just so just building that product and, and making it on a national level. Like, what do you right. think when you see them down there doing what they doing? Like the eighty five South. Oh, bro, that shit's amazing, bro. Just getting those certain moments and it's authentic and the way they do their shit, yeah. they one of a kind. Can't nobody do what they do. No, yeah. no, you no. know what I mean? In, in DC, man, I met him. I met him actually in Texas for a trade day. Really? Back in like uh, hey, Sam, 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 for the first time, yeah. nigga had a camel in the park. Going hey, I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Nigga going to. No, I met DC Young Fly. Um, I met DC Young Fly there, and then we was just cool, bro. He put me on his album. 
You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. he can rap too. People get the shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He can he, rap his he, ass. He's gonna off. sing a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 he can sing a little bit. 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 Then it's like, all right, yeah, yeah. like yeah. people yeah. fucking with it, right. you know what I mean? Yeah, You're right, yeah. But, but, yeah. but who, like, when you think about just the music right now, when it come down to the West Coast, because you love the music, like, who's popping mm-hmm. out there right now? Like, when you, oh, bro, it's a lot of. Hey, shout out to the homie Mark Nasty. You know, okay. he's saying he's on the team with us. Uh, Three Ten Baby, he got one of the hottest songs in the club right now. Baby. Um, you got Blue Bucks. Uh, shout out to Ralphie the Plug. Shout out to uh, to Rucci. Um. It's a gang of people out, out, out doing their shit in the city yeah. right now, man. I love to see that shit, though. Yeah. For real, yeah. for real. Yeah, yeah. like, like it, uh, and do they come together? You know, we have an issue. No. That, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We like, have issues, hey, too. Like, hey, niggas, every, every, see, and that's just us as black people, bro. Especially in music. A lot of, and I ain't gonna say this everybody, but a lot of artists think, like, if I give him the opportunity, if he gets the opportunity, it's gonna fuck up the opportunity. See, when I used to go to label meetings and shit too, they would ask me about artists yeah. that were, you know what I'm saying, similar, you know what I'm saying, status of me. Yeah. They're like, hey, what you think about him? I'm showing love. They told me like, you the first person that showed niggas, love. They showing love in these man. office. Niggas <laughs> dissing. Nigga dissing the they, shit out, They nigga. dissing their friends. Yeah. Cause they thinking that that opportunity may not come to them and shit too. Yep. So yeah, man, we, we need to get away from that shit. Nah, and, real and, shit. And everybody's moving to be stronger if it was together. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.